Welcome back traders. It's Ferlano from the Stock Lock Trading Team. What I want to do in today's video is I want to go over two trades for you that were alerted this week in the free Discord chat room. So the first trade that I want to go over is ATHM. ATHM gap down on November 5th. It was about a 15% gap and it was on our watch list. If you guys watched the previous video, you guys uh, would have learned a little bit about how we mark daily support and resistance lines. So just to go over this trade quickly, we had ATHM on this day right here, November 5th. We notice a gap down below significant daily support levels. So that's why this was on our watch list, accompanied with the 15% gap right here. If we jump into H ATHM's intraday chart on November 5th, which will be right here. So we have our pre-market gap down approximately 15% and we open up for the day and the stock tries to make a push higher right off the open. It gets rejected at one of our daily pivots right here, as you can see. Stock gets rejected, can't push higher, and immediately we start making a leg lower. So this is really important. The stock showed strength off the open. It failed the open push and it got under view app. View app is my blue indicator right here. So once ATHM got under view app, uh, we, we noticed it was holding under view app and it could not could not reclaim view app to reverse and go long. So what happened here is we actually got under view app and we try to poke through on this candle right here. This is the five minute chart, by the way. So we try to poke through on this candle and as soon as we poke through, price action got pushed right back down under view app. So view app was playing a really uh, critical level intraday here. As you can see, multiple tests of this area and price action could not break above it for an upside move. So right after this rejection right here, there was an alert called in the alerts room by Stocklock. Let me just pull this alerts room up here. And we will look ATHM short if below 79.59 with a dollar and 30 cent stop. So 79.59 on the chart is going to be somewhere in this area right here. So the alert's called short 79.59 right in this area. Once we reject on this candle, we can't reclaim VWAP. It does get short for a little bit, but right away it gets bought back up. Now, when it gets bought back up, you can see the volume on this candle was increased, but the following candles for the follow through were smaller. So that means after this first candle right here that popped back up, each candle after that was showing significantly less volume, which means the buyers didn't follow this, follow this pop through for another break over view at. We did retest it, but we got rejected once again. Once we got rejected, Stocklock actually added in this area to a short position, moved his stop to this area right over this wick, and uh, and ended up riding this down. Now, I believe he got out of most of his position in this area, but if you did want to hold, you can see that we retested view app again, got rejected, and that's when... ATHM made its move. So from the alert back at 79.59, we made lows around $77 here. So that's a pretty good move. You get a, a $2.50 move off a $1.30 stop, which is two to one. And if you're momentum trading, two to one is actually actually a great move. Uh, it was also a great ad right here back in the view app when we popped up for the retest. If you were paying attention to this trade and you watched it long enough, once it popped back into view app again and got rejected, this could be an actual, uh, this, this could actually be another ad right here. What I recommend you do is you get into the position here. If you add here, you take some, you take some profit in here. And then once you get the pop back up, you can add your size back and go for the real move. So that was H ATHM back on November 5th. Now, the next stock I wanna talk about is Roku. So the play on Roku that I wanna talk about was right here. So Roku on November 7th. So November 7th, Roku opened up, we'll just go to the daily chart here quickly. 
November 7th. You can see the gap on Roku here. So this is the November 7th day right here. Um, Roku price action closed the previous day right at this level. So we had a gap from, uh, let's just say 141 down to about 118. So we've got a huge gap on Roku right here. We're under a few support levels on Roku. So we're looking to push this thing. We were originally looking to push this thing to the downside. Now, what we what we saw on Roku was, if we go back to the uh, intraday price action here, what we saw on Roku after this gap was in the pre-market, we saw this price action base forming, right? So as you can see, price action came down and it just kept sitting on top of this level right here. Popped up and we just come back to this level. We're testing this level. And this is actually a very bearish pattern because you can see we're making lower highs all the way into this pre-market breakdown level. And also in the post-market, we're, uh, we're making lower highs all the way into the breakdown level. Let me draw that out a little bit better. So we got lower highs here, lower highs here, and this is essentially our breakdown on Roku. So this is actually looking looking really good for a follow through on a short trade. Now, the issue with Roku that day is once the once the market opened right here, you can actually see we got the breakdown of that level that we were talking about. So this was the level right around here. So we get the breakdown of that level. We hold we hold a level here that we have from our daily chart and we start just chopping around in this area. So if Roku is actually weak and it wants to continue to the downside, at the very most, we're getting a flush off the open, a little bounce, and then we're gonna continue down. As soon as Roku starts chopping around here off the open, this isn't looking like a short anymore. We're making, we made a low, we made a higher low here on the five minute chart, and then we made a higher low. So this means price action, is moving up in this consolidation period. The highs are very choppy. So we've got a high, lower high, we match to this high. Now we've got a higher high. Um, so it looks like this price action is actually moving up. So Stocklock calls an alert out right in this area right here to get long Roku. We can go back and check the exact alert. November. It was this day right here. Oh, was it this day? Anyways, let's go over this trade. Let's just continue going over this trade. So we get long right here, Roku. After we realize we break pre-market lows and we can't hold these levels. We're making higher lows into uh, into an upside move here. Roku gets some volume. We start, we start pushing higher here. We get long. And all Roku does is gives us a little retest in this area. So if this was, was in fact a false breakout right in this area, this is where Roku would have turned around and started dumping again. As soon as we retest these areas and we hold, it's just all upside from there. So this is one way to actually find a long within a stock that looks short. Uh, there was also some other stuff involved with Roku, like the news, the earnings, etc. I won't get into that too much, but this is essentially the play that was taken inside our chat room. You've got your base right here. You've got multiple tests of this base, right? It breaks down, can't hold under these levels. We're building higher lows back into the pre-market low. As soon as we break over, we retest this level bounce and then it's off to the races so depending on how you want to play something like this entry on roku ends up being right in this area we'll just call it 119 to uh to keep it easy 119 and we get highs up at 128.50 so you got about a nine dollar and fifty cent move right here not saying you're going to catch the whole move from top to bottom but even if you catch half of the move it uh it's definitely a great play so these are some of the trades that we take within our free Discord chat room and within our master classroom. If you guys are interested, please, please, please join the free Discord chat room. Link will be in the description. 
shoot me a message, shoot Stocklock a message, or anyone in the Discord chat room for that matter. Everybody's super friendly and our community is growing out of control. I look forward to seeing you guys there and happy trading.